Welcome back. My name is Michael Lee, your realtor of the Palm Beaches, and I have another property tour for you guys today. So we're going to check out this wonderful three bedroom, two bath, recently renovated home located in the quiet subdivision of Palm Beach Square in Palm Beach Gardens. To all my subscribers, welcome back. And if you're new to the channel, my name is Michael Lee, your realtor of the Palm Beaches, and my job is to help you guys find the best hidden gems in neighborhoods throughout Palm Beach County, whether that's a multi-million dollar home on the beach or a nice townhouse. I would love if you guys subscribe to the channel so you guys can stay updated on new neighborhood tours as well as property tours. I'm just gonna give you guys a little background on Palm Beach Square, the subdivision. It holds around 574 homes. Most of the homes are single story ranch style homes. And today we're gonna to check out a single story ranch style home, three bedrooms, two baths. And it's been recently upgraded and has some amazing bathrooms. So without further ado, let's go. guys welcome to palm beach square we're in palm beach gardens where this home is going to spend three bedrooms two baths 1500 square feet 1527 square feet exactly and this home has been moderately staged so you guys can get a, a moderate view of what it's like to live here so we are in the living room space right now as you can see they have a nice little couch set up here with a little dining table and a chair now all you really do need to add is maybe a television on the wall instead of the painting so ample space great starter home i think great for one kid two kids ample space for a guest house now this kitchen has been staged like a model home just with the finishes i don't know if you guys can actually see it on camera the way i can see it here in person but they have the reflector lights you have your samsung stainless steel appliances as well now let me see if they're self-closing. I'll open up a few cabinets here for you guys to see. Self-closing, but stainless steel as well. Now they have the separate island, which you don't see often in homes of this size, which I think is a great touch because you have additional storage here at the bottom as well. So a lot of homes of this size, I think, suffer from storage problems. But this is a great addition and you have the pop-up here which is great for your additional devices. So you can put an iPad here, you can put a, you know, charge your phone. If guests come over, they don't have to find a plug on the wall over here. You just have your devices being charged right here, which I think is great. You don't see that often as well. A little two person bar set up so you can eat here at the counter, stay connected with the living room as well. We move around. We have also a dining table here, connected to the backyard. We'll see that in a bit. Now this is also a nice little breakfast nook. So everything I think is connected to the space. So even if you are sitting at this space right here, this table, you can still connect with people in the living room if you need to as well. Now this back space is going to be for your laundry hookup. So space for your dryer, space for your washer, and that leads out to the patio or the cup garage. Additional storage as well. So you can put, you know, extra towels, storage, utilities. So I'm doing a lot of tours around Palm Beach County for you guys. So this house often does have a lot more space for storage, which is great if you're looking for a house with storage. I know we all have extra stuff that we don't really need sometimes. Additional closet space here. This is where your AC hookup is going to be as well. Easy access and another additional space for storage as well, maybe towels, anything you can think of to put in there. Bedroom number one is off to my right. So you have ample space as well, closet space, very easy to see. Now what's interesting about this is I'm a tall guy, so I can reach this pretty quickly. I'm not sure if you see, but you know. But, I do like that ceiling fan up there. I have not seen a ceiling fan like that in person. So instead of the blades turning around in the room, potential hazard, especially for a tall guy like myself, you have the blades on top. So I think it's pretty cool. 
Off to my right is bedroom number three. Now this one just has the recessed lights here. So I can imagine at nighttime what kind of ambient light you have in here. You know, it can be used maybe for a meditation room or something, I don't know. But you don't actually see those lights often as well. So they've done a lot of upgrades in here with, you'll see in new bills, custom bills. So we're gonna check out guest bathroom slash bathroom for bedrooms one and two. You see they have the LED mirror with the hookup, new vanity, new toilets. Now, I'm not sure if I'll try to zoom in, but you can see the shower towels are 3D. I'm not sure if you can see that. They're 3D, which is wonderful. I haven't seen that before in the showers just yet. Not in a home of this size, I would say. So as we're gonna go across the house now and check out the primary suite. They did stage this one as well, so you can get an idea of what it will look like if you were to move in. So you can see dual dressers on each side. This looks like a queen size bed that feels nice. It fits perfectly with the carpet underneath. I'm not sure of the carpet size, but as you can kind of see, they have the carpet on each side. It can fit up on the bed comfortably as well as another fan that I liked in the other room. Next up, here is the primary suite. Now they've done some upgrades in here as well. As you can see, they have the gold accents as opposed to the black accents. Now this is your standard walk-in shower. Custom gold accents as well in the shower as well. Simply a great job. I even did the shower plate at the bottom, the drainage plate at the bottom in that kind of brass color. The shower nook. So that's gonna do it for the inside. Let's go out and check out the backyard. Now on this particular day, the wind was absolutely crazy, so I did switch to the voiceover, but if you see to the left, there is ample space for furniture, outdoor pergola, or an outdoor kitchen. The pool does take up most of the backyard, but it still has some grassy knoll space as well in the back of the pool, as well as to the side of the house. So this is a great opportunity for having a great pool day and enjoying watching the kids from the kitchen or the living room because you can see straight through the house from the backyard as well. So as I walked around to the other side, this is where you will see your hookups for the pool as well as the AC. There is an additional space for some more grass as well, but you can do what you want with that section there. You can get creative. But that's going to do it for the video, guys. Uh, thank you. If you lasted this long, please consider subscribing to the channel. And I'll see you guys on the next video. Peace.